because I haven't vlogged in two days and that is literally because I got so 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 sick and if you guys watched my pre like my last year Cuba vlog I was also really really sick then but honestly nothing like this time because I got like a really bad fever I was shivering I couldn't even get out of bed all day yesterday I slept like the whole day I slept so I missed like a a whole day in Cuba I was just sleeping but I honestly knock on wood I'm feeling much better today it's currently 5 32 p.m. so I went to the pool for a bit and I chilled there and then I started feeling gross again so I came upstairs and I took a nap and I showered and I think I'm better right now I thank god I don't have a fever anymore but that was a really horrible cold like whatever i caught was disgusting and everyone here like got sick like everyone from my family got sick but nobody got it as bad as me tomorrow we're going to havana finally tomorrow is our second last day but guys i didn't even like tan a lot unfortunately i did not tan a lot because i was just literally sleeping the whole day yesterday it's okay it's okay as long as i feel good that's all that matters like i got a little bit of color on my skin but not as much as i wanted to tan but it's all good i'm just chilling in bed i honestly like having my window open i hate the ac i felt so bad for the workers here because yesterday i was in my room all day sleeping and they couldn't clean my room because i was sleeping and i had to literally get breakfast lunch dinner in my room and there were so many plates in my room and i couldn't obviously take them down myself so they had to come clean it up and i just felt so bad for them because i was a mess yesterday like it, it was so bad it was so bad anyway this is my little update for you i'm gonna vlog a little bit tonight too it's just that we don't really do much at night like we just do the same thing over and over again but i'll still vlog now that i feel better i can like finally talk and stuff i'll vlog so yeah i'm gonna go and edit for a bit and then i'll catch you guys at dinner here's the outfit for tonight's dinner very blue themed <laughs>
جلو بشی از همین هی میگفت بیا بیا ولی Guys, it's 3 1 in the morning. I'm dead. I, I was trying to sleep and I wake up to this. There's just people jumping in the pool at 1 in the morning. You know, just casual, very casual. just got into the taxi to go to Havana it's like a big like van type of taxi so all of us can fit into it and it's like it's 8 in the morning we got up bright and early had breakfast and we're on our way it's a two hour ride to Havana so everyone's just getting in right now Bridge right before Havana. I don't even know what it's called, but I'll ask the guy. What, what's this bridge called? Is, it, is there a name? Bakuna Yagua. Bakuna. It's difficult. Okay. Uh, Bakuna Yagua. Okay. Bakuna Yagua. <laughs> okay. Got it. Thank you.
Guys, we just made it to Havana. It looks very, very, very pretty. Like that is gorgeous. Beautiful. It's so beautiful here. But I told you. So at the beginning, Havana was in the back in Guanabacoa. But there, because we tried to find in the place we have in the river for the first water, and after to try to be close the bay because all the ship from Spain with the food with all the, the technology coming from the bay so we want to be close and we want to have in fresh water this is why at the beginning, in the beginning we was in Rio Almendares and we moved here because there we have in another river so there the problem was the mosquitoes <laughs> too much mosquitoes and this is why only the rich people was able to buy the land to come in to all Havana. Um, contest all high position in the economy because you have it only the people having money. got to a restaurant to eat some food. It's really pretty here. This is like the most famous restaurant they have, so they brought us here.
Sorry so much. Actually, we have twins only for one. I have two offers. Yorda da da. Kodesh mi yare? Kodesh mi yare? Kodesh mi yare? back into my room because it's um one of our friend's birthdays and i honestly i'm so tired i just wore like sweats and then everyone came dressed up so i'm like okay fuck i gotta change what i'm wearing because it's so embarrassing i'm literally wearing like sweats so here we are i'm gonna go change i honestly i'm not doing any makeup i'm not doing anything i'm just gonna wear a green dress i'm gonna wear this and calling it a day because i'm tired of life and i i want it to be comfy so bad but it looks like that's not happening per usual per usual okay that was the quickest outfit change i've ever done i need someone to freaking tie my uh th my dress like this part of my dress because i can't do it myself but i'm gonna find my room keys i don't know where it is this isn't good 
I literally feel so disgusting when my hair isn't like done and I don't have makeup on. But I wear like a dress or something because it just it just doesn't make sense. But it's okay. This is what it's gonna be. This is all I'm doing. That's it. And I just realized my room keys are literally right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe I should like do a little like like a lip color or something. So I don't look totally gross. I'm also like, oh my god, can I like can this stay somewhere? My phone's gonna fall. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Oh, oh, oh. This is opening up. I need someone to tie that ASAP. ASAP. Let's head out. Guys, also my door does not close. Like it doesn't lock. So I have to like pull it every time. It's, it's a whole process. It's a whole process. But we got it. I changed out of sweats. I feel better. I literally, they opened the door and I saw what everyone was wearing and I'm like, fuck. I'm in sweats. I'm in sweats. Yeah,